Hi, I am Sparklet. Today neighbors have catered to greet Yanis and celebrate this beautiful midsummer tradition. And guess what? Our amazing neighbor Yanis is throwing a celebration right here in his front yard. <laughs> In this tradition, neighbors come bearing wreath and singing special Ligua songs to show their appreciation and respect to the host. It's a wonderful gesture that signifies the unity of the community. Our incredible host Janis looks fabulous with his wreath. As per Latvian customs, a wreath is placed upon his head, symbolizing the vibrant nature of summer. It's a sign of good luck and happiness for the year ahead. Janis looks absolutely delighted with his new wreath. But wait, before we join in the midsummer festivities, let's talk about another unique tradition that takes place just before Yanni's grand celebration, the lawn mowing ritual. In Latvia, it's customary to ensure that your lawn is perfectly trimmed and maintained before the midsummer celebration begins. Yanis's neighbor Andres is doing it today and makes too much noise. It's believed that a well-groomed lawn brings good fortune and prosperity to the household. This noise also dissatisfies the storks who have built a nest on a pole near the house. Now let's see what he has prepared for this magnificent celebration. It's shashlik's coat, and Yanis made it himself. Wow! Would you look at this feast? Yanis wanted to ensure everyone has a fantastic time. He and his wife Arya prepared a variety of delicious treats, including beer, cheese, mouth-watering meat rolls, known as piradzin, and of course, irresistible shashlik's grilled meat squeeze. I can't wait to dig into all this scrumptious food. <laughs> the aroma alone is making my mouth water. Janis truly knows how to treat the guests. What's your shashliks? There's shashliks and grapes. Shashliks and grapes. There's no ketchup. No, Aria has. Oh, Aria. Tomato sauce. Oh, okay. Let's go to get. Oh, what? 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 And now it's time for another unique tradition, bonfire. The previous year's wreath is placed on the bonfire, symbolizing letting go of the past and embracing the new beginnings of the midsummer celebration. As you see, on the top of the bonfire, there is wreath from the last year. And this is the tradition that you hold those trees for a year and then on the next year bonfire you burned it. 
Oh, I didn't know that tradition. Yes, you have to hold it for a year. Okay. And then next year you put in the fire. Because you have a new one to replace it. Yes. <laughs> and there is some special beliefs we will ask Yanis or Arya, they will tell. With the flickering flames and crackling fire, the old wreath is transformed into ashes, carrying away any negative energies of the past. It's a beautiful and symbolic act that signifies renewal and fresh starts. They say that when you get the wreath, then you get a very healthy grass, and this is kind of a thing which, which goes to the Yanis. Yeah, he gets it. Also other people who, who wear the wreath. And then in a year, when it's already dry, you put in bonfire and you send it to the god or to other people. So it's like mythology superstition. Yes. Алло, алло, Яня, та в селі гіку, гіку, де вовк міжі тиру at the bonfire warms up with the fire, let's raise our glasses and toast to Yanis. And this sincerely meets some celebration. I think Veselibo means to your house. May this catering bring us closer together and fill our hearts with joy and happiness. We are saying goodbye and thanking our hosts for their hospitality. The wreath I had for a midsummer celebration I put on the apple tree until the next year. Thank you all for joining us today as we celebrate this magical midsummer moment with Yanis and our wonderful neighbors. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my future content. Watch my films and enjoy your life. Until next time, have a fantastic midsummer time. Your Sparklet.